Hi, Andrew Andrew here. We're in front of the Armory. I'm about the to Park Avenue Armory. We're about to see a show called The Machine. It's about Deep Blue, the uh, the chess playing guru made by IBM. Now, if this was downtown or in Brooklyn, I would have my doubts about it because it sounds like a really boring premise. However, every single thing I've seen at the Park Avenue Armory has been fantastic. Really, everything? Yes. Tom Sachs, Paul McCarthy, the swing sets, with the Peter Greenaway thing with the little yeah. iffy. So we're looking forward to it, an hour and a half, play about a big computer. It really doesn't sound good. Does it does not it? sound, it does not sound yeah. good. It doesn't sound gripping. Well, you know what, there's a lot of people here, so some, they're doing something right. Well, checkmate, we just got out of the show. The Park Avenue Armory is one of the most unique and amazing venues in the city. And to begin with, you walk in and the way that they've constructed the set is fascinating. It's done in the round. It's a simulacrum of the way this broadcast took place on national television. It's gladiatorial, it's vaguely fascist, it's spooky, they've got cinematic music piped in, and from the get-go, you know that you're about to see something go down. I thought the problem with this show was that, that it's gonna be very small in scope, because mm. chess is very small. What they do is there's a series of flashbacks that show both, it shows the origins of the chess player, how he became a master chess player. Mr. Kasparov. And also the big blue computer, the makers of the computer. All the, all the nerds, all the uh, Carnegie Mellon nerds behind the making of the computer. So simultaneously, during the the match, they go in back in time, they roll it's stuff epic. in. It's, it's very, epic. very epic. It's interesting because it has a very like rocky 2.0-ish to it because well, it's the Cold War, it's Russia versus the US. It, there's no clear-cut villain here. Well, yes, there is. Except At the end may, of the day, maybe IBM. IBM. Whoa, Corporate Big Blue. Park Avenue is known for doing sort of avant-garde, challenging, sort of like left-of-center pieces. This was very, very commercial. The thing about this show is that it is conventional, and it's good when it's conventional. Yeah. Um, in its Aaron Sorkin-ness, it's very compelling, and it doesn't need the whacker Doodle's uh, choreography that it does. Like, you don't need Kasparov jumping up and down on the chess set. It's entertaining, you learn something. I was very moved. I think that some of the subplots meander and try to humanize it or make it the show mean everything to everybody, which it doesn't really need to be because it's pretty engaging in, in what it is to begin with. So now it's your move. Ah, your hours. move. Two green lights for the machine at.